Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple text animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. First of all, all you need to do is create a new fusion composition. So I'm just going to write this as text effect. And just double click on this. All right, now let's go ahead and move our media output over here. And now let's create a background. So I'm going to add a background and a merge node. Now let's connect these. Now click on this background and go to the color. And I'm just simply going to change it to this color. Hit OK and we have our background. So now I'm going to drag another merge node. And above it, I'm going to drag a text and connect with it. And here I'm going to write text effect. I'm going to change the size to 0 0.1. Now let's go over here in our timeline at 20. And over here I'm going to create some keyframes. So the first keyframe that I want to create is the right on. So over here in our text settings we have right on. So just create a keyframe. Then go over to layout and over here create another keyframe in the center and then finally go to shading and add a keyframe at opacity all right so now let's go back at zero in our timeline and go to the layout section and change the y-axis to 0 0.4 now go over to your text settings and in the right on section move this to zero and of course Go back to your shading and move your opacity at zero as well. So now let's play this. And here you can see we have a simple looking animation. So now let's go over to spline and over here make sure your text is selected with all the settings, all the keyframes over here. And just simply select all of these and hit S on your keyboard. Okay, so. Right now, I'm just going to deselect this, the opacity as well, and I'm simply going to go over to right on. So, we just simply play this at the moment. This is how it looks. But right now, I'm going to change this a bit. Select this keyframe. Simply move this. All right, and now let's deselect these and select our displacement like this. Now I'm going to select this first one and just slightly drag it. So now let's see how this looks. All right, so now at the 20th mark, we have our animation completed at the moment but we also want to add a tracking effect. So over here, you can see we have tracking. So go over to 25 and create a keyframe at tracking. Then go to 30, or let's just go to 35 and create a tracking of 1.1. And go back at 45 and then create the uh, set it back to one. So now if we play this, you'll we'll see we have a simple tracking effect. And now let's open up spline once again. Deselect this layout as well and select this vector spacing only. Now let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. Select the keyframes over here and hit S on your keyboard. And now let's play this. This is how it looks. And of course, if you want to change this a bit, you can simply just move these. So select both of these and move this right here. Like this one, move it in the center. So now it looks fine. So this is how we created the animation. For our text but now let's also add a background 
I'm going to add this merge node. Now I'm going to add this text. Connect this over here and simply write text. Set this at extra bold and change the size at 0 0.2. Okay, so go to the merge and over here, just simply set the edges to wrap. And now just simply decrease the size of this. And this is how it will look. Now let's go back to our text and in the shading, let's simply change the opacity to 0 0.2. And of course, you can change the size of the font to see if this looks better. So let's just set this at 0 0.3. Now let's animate this background text. First of all, go over at 0 and click on Merge. And set a keyframe at center. And simply go at the end of your video. And then simply drag this right here. I think at minus 0 0.3. .35. Yes, this looks fine and now let's see how this looks. Here you can see we have our text animation and of course you can change the opacity of the background text. Let's uh, make sure that this is at 0 0.15 so that it does not look prominent. So here you can see this looks much better. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.